Welcome to the Sky Radar video channel. The presentation is given by Dr. Ulrich Schulten from Sky Radar. Let's have a general look at radar scopes and the controls. Let's start with a bit of amplification to really see the signals. You see that now? In the A-scope you see that around the source there is the strongest signal. Let's adapt the scaling in the A-scope now so that the signals are properly fitting. Let's now play with the sensitive time control. We can filter away signals in the near range. Now threshold and limiter. The threshold allows us to take away clutter. You see here is that you can change the color scheme in the scopes. So what we are doing is we are calibrating a color scheme which we called wetter, which is meaning weather. You see it's uh, strongly working with the blue and green colors. Um, please be aware that when we set this it's stored, but only when we call it up in the scopes then it will actually be be the mode of visualization. So we set it now, but you see up there nothing will change so far. Oh, it's beautiful. You see, you see the reflections of the signals in all scopes. Um, they should match each other. For instance, for me it's always easy. You know, when I when I look at a, at a peak in the A scope, I look up in the B scope and and see what that might be, and then I move over to the. Um, PPI scope. We have, we are operating the um, B scope here in with time on the X axis. We'll later go to now. We we go to angle. You see now the B scope becomes the unfolded PPI scope. At the same time also we just set the, the uh, weather um, modes in the visualization that we have prepared before. So suddenly we are working with blue and the green color schemes. It's up to you to decide whether you like that or you simply make up your own colors. Okay. We're in a rotating mode here. We can define or uh, change from rotating to um, stop like now. Now it doesn't rotate at all. Um, we, we can also do some sector search where we are panning between predefined angles. You'll see that in a second. Yeah, for the moving target indication it's really interesting um, to be focusing on a certain area we have it set static now so when it's static it makes sense for the for the beast curve to be in the time mode because otherwise you wouldn't see much of it. Now you see there's a, move, a person moving in the room and you see the trajectory. Um, be aware that x-axis is time so there is somebody moving forth and back. It's beautiful, beautifully shown here. I think it, it showed how moving target indication actually worked. We're still now in the volume church 
search now we move over to sector search you see there we are somewhere around 40 degrees so let's let's start there yeah and let's go to somewhere like hmm, around 150 now we are panning we're always as accurate as the compass can be in a room so you see it's it's always slightly overshooting to the indication that's given on given on the scale now it's between 1950 Thank you, Uli. We hope you have enjoyed this video. There are many more on the Sky Radar channel in YouTube and at www.skyradar.com. On our website, you also find helpful tools, free calculators, and an extensive repository of research papers and case studies all around radar technology. It is born.